Greetings, food surfers. I found a new vending machine place. They've got goods from Hiroshima Prefecture and Nagano Prefecture. It's a brand new room. It's called the J Bridge Inside. Have a look. State of the art. This place is gorgeous. Look at that. They got the clouds painted up on the ceiling. You got the ocean right here. And we got five machines. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Where should we start? I like this because the machines have, they're different types, different varieties. So this is a curry machine here. It's Hiroshima curry, spicy. This is deer curry right here. Interesting, oh, it's sold out though. Banana curry, oh, that's available. Oh, huh, cool. There's Hiroshima right there. The Peace Memorial. Look at that, you get a bit of history in here. Yeah. It's a hot spring place right here. Nice, huh? A little bit of history there. It's good. And this machine sells sweets and then condiments. But again, local stuff. This is, I've never seen this kind of variety before. What do we have here? Different types of dried noodles. Yeah, some noodles here. And then what are those jams down at the bottom? Oh, those are like dongo. You, I guess you can, uh, comes with the sticks. So Japanese traditional sweets. And these are the best spices there, those three packs. That is some amazing spice. Got a packaged meat there, that's chicken. Kurumi, that's walnut something. The good stuff, that's okonomiyaki. Yeah, it's not available though. Too bad, huh? Oh, look at that. That's the inoshishi right there. The wild boar, they sell the meat. And these are manju sweets, it looks like. A pack, six pack. All kinds of goodies here. And what, what is that? That is deer, deer sausage, it looks like. Oh, goodness, all right. Start with this machine here. And let's do the banana curry, shall we? That sounds really interesting. Never had banana curry before. It's number five. There it is. That's looking good. And what do we have here? Some lemon cakes. I guess we can eat these right away. I'll try that, the lemon cake. It's for 400 yen. to the, this is a meat machine here. Gotta, gotta try the wild boar right there. Yeah, definitely, that's exciting. It's called Inoshishi. I thought it was manju, like sweet cakes, because that one's apple flavored, but apparently it's, they're, most of these are not sweet. So they're more like uh, buns or dumplings. Let's try it. Number three, get the six pack. Okay, that's what we're dealing with. Nice, I like that they're all different flavors. And also this machine has got the deer sauces right there. Look at that. 160 grams for 1200, okay. This is a first deer sausage. Will it take my money?
Doesn't like that thousand yen note, huh? Okay, we're in. Nice design there, you can see the uh, the deer, what do you call them, horns. Mm -hmm. The deer horns, I like that. Okay, so in this machine as well, we've got something unique here. This is number 39 there, that's olive oil and oysters, is that right? Oysters and olive oil. Always on the lookout for new stuff. That's definitely new. It's Never seen that before. wine in it too. The next machine, what do we have here? Oh goodness, starting on the top there, that's an un, unzu, that's a, apricot, apricot? Okay. That sounds, never bought an apricot from a vending machine. Do you say apricot, apricot? Which is it? Unzu, number seven. Fancy. Oh yeah. They're in a syrup. Oh, these are gonna be good. Yeah. Dessert like. Looks like there's a drinks in a bag up there, but this one is some, some kind of cake. Okay. Let's try that. 27. Ah. This is an old thousand yen note. That's why it won't, the machine won't take it, see? These are the common ones that you see everywhere. It's an old one. Mm-hmm. Interesting, huh? <laughs> Rare money. Okay, 27. Let's get some cake. Oh, the dongo down at the bottom for 550. Yeah, you put them on the stick. That's, or they're on the stick. Looks like you put them on the stick yourself. I can see the sticks in there. Classic Japanese sweets for 550. Oh, oh, it got. Oh, I thought it was gonna get stuck. It's interesting on them, but these have got belts that push them out. It's a little bit different for this kind of machine, right? The belts push them out on the lower two levels rather than the little rings rotating. So anyway, here it is. Looks like a can of spray paint, doesn't it? So there it is. Yeah, the sticks inside it already there. Yeah, like that. I saw that sticks there as well, too, for toothpicks. I'm at the train station now and found three more vending machines. Check them out. This is probably the most prolific machine of them all, the 17 ice machine. It's awesome. Yeah, they're everywhere. Definitely good value. Give it a try if you come to Japan. This one here, you don't see too often. And I 
don't believe I've done it in a long time. So you got these soy joy things, which are energy bars, and then these calorie mate things down here. So food on the go, it's good. They've got a couple different flavors here, fruit, cheese, and chocolate. The cheese one I think is the best. I haven't had these in a long time, ages. Let's give it a try. And the door slides open, it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, like that. And the uh, snack machine here. I found a new snack in this one that I haven't seen. It says sauce katsu. So I think these are rice cakes, like potato chip rice cakes. So pork flavored for 130. There we go. Should we try them out right here? Yeah? Okay. Let's go for it. called Calorie Mate. You get two in a pack, and in each pack you get two. So it's kind of like a cookie or biscuit. It's like that, classic. And it's, it's got some good weight to it. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Got a softness to it, and you can taste the cheese. It's a very soft cookie. I wouldn't call it a cracker. Very soft. Mmm. Oh. And these here, sauce katsu. And it also says hitokuchi, so they're one bite each. Bite size. Huh. Oh, look at that. It's got the sauce on it, huh? The tangy bulldog sauce. Oh. It's chewy like pork. So it's not a it's not a rice cracker. It's more like it's breaded pork. Yeah. Mmm. That is really tasty. Looks like the real deal. I think in actuality it's probably just fish. Wow. So crunch on the outside, chewy on the inside. Not a rice cracker. Pork. Pork cutlet. <laughs> Mine's really good. I mean, it's got a nice sauce flavor too. So we are finally ready to eat, and I'm being joined by Mega Rain 600. And did you bring your appetite? Are you hungry? Very hungry. All right. So the food that we have today is from Nagano Prefecture, Japan, and Hiroshima Prefecture, Japan. Right? Mostly. That's what the machines featured today. So let's get into it. We've got a whole bunch of different unique stuff. So you choose first, since you're so hungry, what looks really appetizing to you? This, that <laughs> right there. So this is Inoshishi or wild boar, which I see sometimes when I go hiking up in the local mountains here and they've got these little tiny horns and they're big and fat. They're, they're a healthy looking animal for sure. There's gonna be some good meat on there. Go for it. Oh yeah. There's some onions in here as well too. Marinated onions. Okay. Eat it like a mouse. What are you saying? Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Okay, here it goes. Well, this is a big chunk. <laughs> oh my. Oh. 
Mine's really chewy. Mine too. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull my teeth out. <laughs> oh my god. So chewy. What do you think? So chewy. Mm. I got a huge chunk of fat. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in for a leaner piece here. It's like gum. It's like gum, yeah. The, the flavor is good though. It's in a really nice, what, like sauce, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of a smoky, tangy sauce. Yeah, we should have cut it up maybe a bit. Mm. Yeah, smaller pieces are fine. If you can avoid the fat. What are you having to drink? Milk. Milk, I'm having a uh, too high, a dry too high cocktail in a can. And this is just the no brand type, the CGC bargain discount rate from the supermarket. So cheers. Cheers. Nice dry cocktail in a can. And that's just regular milk, isn't it? Yeah. Three point, does it say what the percentage is? The milk fat, that's all that's interesting in Japan. It's 3.5. 3.5, there you go. So let's do the deer sausage right here. The color really is, is different from any sausage I've ever seen, right? It's very dark. Yeah. Huh? What's that gonna be like? Oh, this is good. I like this. Mmm. Very flavorful. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it tastes like kind of like a dark meat. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Could use a bit of ketchup or mustard, I think, would make it better, but it's fine just like this too. It's good. Juicy, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a nice flavor. I want to try this. Okay, good. Good choice. These are also from Nagano, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with the kimpira. Kimpira. Okay. Go. So that's burdock root. So dumplings with different fillings. And these are meant to be their main meal, right? Do you yeah. dip them in curry or do you just eat them like they are? I think just eat, eat them it. like they are. Okay. Okay. And then I'll try... There's apple. What are the other flavors? Can you read these? Shimeji yasai. This one is nozawa na. Okay. This one is pirikara nozawa So it's spicier. Spicier. Oh, okay. I'll do that. So spicy vegetables? Yeah. Okay. So here's one of mine for you. We'll split these up. Do yours first. Well, that looks good, the product. There's a, you get a lot, huh? Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Goes together pretty good. Yeah. Really fresh. Right? Nice shoyu flavor. I like it. Oh. Mm hmm. That's really good. Yeah. Burdock root. It's it's everywhere in Japan, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And this version of it, the kimpirai, also has the carrots, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. And the bun is nice and soft. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not hard at all. Which, that usually happens with bread items from vending machines. There's a lot of times, not a lot of times, sometimes, the buns on things will be hard, right? Like the hamburger vending machine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this one is the spicy vegetables. It's an interesting way to eat dumplings. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. We might or might not come back to these depending on how hungry we are, but you know, we sampled two of them out of the six. So, and they've got an apple one too, so I guess there, there is one sweet one, right? Is this one natto? What does that say? 
Can you read it? Um, uh, Murasaki. I don't know. Purple something, huh? Yeah, purple something. Maybe we'll have to try this one. <laughs> Sweet potato? Our last video together, was it? Yeah, you tried oysters and didn't like them, right? No. Okay, so you don't have to eat this, if, but this is in, this is totally different. It's in olive oil, so the taste is gonna be totally different. Okay, you don't have to, okay? Look at that olive oil. Olive oil is just amazing. It makes everything taste amazing. And I'm not a big fan of oysters as well either, but okay, here we go. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It's really powerful. Okay, you can pass on that one. I, I, I would I recommend that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> it's not bad. It's, it's very smoky, very oily. Maybe some kind of bean. <laughs> some kind of bean. Yeah. Maybe on some type of onco. Yeah. Yeah. An identified flying object. Yeah, I agree. It's a purple bean, sweet bean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unlike any other sweet bean I've ever had. Different. Yeah, there's so many varieties of beans. Okay, moving on. Get a sip of it. We're gonna finish it off with the apple. I smell cinnamon. You like cinnamon in your apple, don't you? Yeah. Learned that about you, yeah, over the years of doing videos together. <laughs> Some people don't like cinnamon in Japan. Some people really hate cinnamon. Okay, let's do it. Oh, that's different. I mean, it's almost like apple pie, but it's soft. <laughs> yeah, it's an apple dumpling. But yeah, the apple's diced, plenty of cinnamon, right? Sweet. Yeah. Interesting, I like what they do with these dumplings. Yeah. I've never had this, this type of food inside dumplings before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I think that about does it for this one. What item did you enjoy the most? I think the dumplings. The dumplings, okay. Yeah, that was kind of the wild card. When I got those, I was like, I wasn't really sure what I was, was getting because I'm really only familiar with dumplings that are like not sweet, right? Like the Nikumans and the Chinese type dumplings and gyoza, stuff like that. So yeah, that's interesting. Deep, more designer stuff. Um, and what, what did you dislike the most? What did you hate? This. Yeah, okay. He's, he's not an oyster man yet. Yeah. I'll say, I, I think I dislike the, the oysters in the uh, olive oil. That just, I'd rather have them out of the shell, like fresh. Cause at least then you know what you're getting. Um, the deer was really good though. I like the deer sausage a lot. Yeah. The, the ino shishi needs to be cut up more. I mean, it's decent, but you can't eat it the way it is. These giant slabs with the fatty meat. It's just, it's too chewy. Yeah, it's a tougher meat. But the taste is good. So I think if it were just, you know, cut up more, it'd be all right. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it was a good meal overall, right? Yeah. I'm pretty happy. Yeah, definitely filled me up. So on the rating scale, between one and six megaheads, where are you going to go today? I'm going to go four. Four.
four out of six. Four out of six. That's a gnome. Okay, four out of six. And for myself, I'm going to do five out of six. It's a gnome gnome. I think it's, it was banging for sure. And again, you know, when food comes out of vending machines and it tastes pretty good like this, gets a high five ranking, I'm happy. I think it's great. It's money well spent, I would say, for sure. Definitely good value, right? Yeah. It's good food. Kind of feels like we're eating at a restaurant, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Even though the food came out of a vending machine. So thanks for your support, guys. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we always look forward to reading your comments. So we'll see you in the next one. Eric and Mega, out.